Hey guys, tonight we're gonna continue the tutorial. Um, today we're gonna work on the React Router part. Yes, we have already set up some stuff, but we didn't really implement the real React Router right now. And I was planning to uh, use Material UI, but I get some problem. And so sorry if you have checked for get stuff on that. So what we're gonna use is Semantic UI. I've just seen they have uh, made one for the React. Because before, if you was using a semantic UI, you get a jQuery and all that stuff. But now they have made their own implementation. So we're going to use this for the project, for the CSS framework. So now, yesterday, I quit you with this teeny stuff we have made. So now, time to add the, the route. So inside your source uh, folder, we're going to create a route file. In this one, we need React, like that. We need two things coming from React Router. We need the router, who is the wrapper for using the route, and the route, who is a component uh, route. No S, like that. And this coming from React Router. After that, if you remember, in the store, like right here, we create an history uh, with using uh, sing history with stuff coming from React Router Redux. We put two arguments inside, browser history, coming from React Router, and the store, the one we just created here. So we're going to use this same history for the route. So import history. Okay, maybe some people ask why I need bracket and not like that. Because here, if you look again in my store, I export cons. I don't export default. If you export default, you can use your uh, without bracket, but like all this kind of stuff right here, they don't export default because they have more than one module inside inside the same file. So if we add like that, sorry, from uh, Redux and from the store like this. Now we need to export default, so that's gonna be a stateless uh, component, like that. And now we pass the router for wrapping the route. And now we can create the first route like this. The router take uh, history props, so we're gonna pass the history we just create. And inside the route, we always set up a path, so you can have like post something like that. But here we need to have the, the the root. So this one for my project gonna be uh, the layout one, the one where we pass all the layout stuff, etc. So in this one, we're gonna pass the only component we have made right now, and this is the app. And look here, I can import app like that, cause in my app, I export default this one. So this is something good to know. Now here, inside my index, I don't need any more my app. But now I need to have my route from route like this. So now I can change my app for route. If you came here and you get nothing broke, perfect. If you expect with your uh, React Dev tool, you came here, you can see now you have a provider with a stateless component who is my stateless coming from my route. So when you don't give a name here, React gonna call that stateless component. So like this, so we have a router history, router context. This uh, route context is right here. And they have a path. So if you look here in my app, I have a path uh, location here, right here. So this is my root one. And inside this one, I have my hello and I have my image, everything like that. So after that, here, time to put some stuff. So here inside my source, I'm going to create a folder called module. Inside this one, I'm going to have a folder called layout. So this is everything touched uh, uh, layout part. Here I'm gonna create a file called uh, navbar.js. Inside my layout, yes, I know this is a lot of code, but later that all gonna make sense. Here I'm gonna create an index.js file. So here, just for right now, I'm gonna import React. Here I'm gonna create a stateless component called navbar. Here I'm gonna have a, a div with uh, each one and um, the navbar, like that. Nothing more. Inside my index right here, I'm gonna import my navbar from navbar.js right here. 
remember JavaScript smart enough to don't you don't need to pass JS here if it's JavaScript. Here I'm gonna export my navbar like that. Why I do this is because it's much more easy to just import a directory and don't care about the name and when you put so many stuff here like I have a, a lot of stuff here and I can just import that so now I don't need it's just more easy and more uh, looks better for me this is what I think so here in my module I'm gonna create an index GS and this one gonna export everything coming from my layout folder so look at the magic right here. Now inside my app.js, I want to add my nav. So I'm gonna here import my nav bar from, now this is a magic bar, only for module. I don't need to have layout that nav bar. I don't need that. Now I can just import this from module. And now I can add my nav bar right here. So look at that. Now I have my navbar right here and my hello. Yeah, all this look that because of this. And we can add a flex direction of a row. Oh, a colon. Like that. Okay, so now I have my navbar, hello and my uh, React here. But the, uh, the part now, when I talk about the layout, it's everything inside a tag in React is a children. So what the route give you, it's example, right here, we're gonna create uh, a module uh, called uh, home. Oops, not a file, a module, sorry guy. I'm gonna create inside my module, a own folder and inside this one I'm gonna have a own view so that can be like your landing page something like that just for right now I'm gonna have this with my own a view inside this one uh, each one with the I'm the own view right now again I know this is a lot of coding but make much more sense when you start to have a lot of stuff own view from on view GS like that, we export like we did, like that. And now inside my module index.js, now I can export everything coming from my own folder. Now inside my route, we're gonna create another route because I just want to show you how the children work in uh, with React finally. Here I can import on view from module no need again to go to home and home view now i can just stay with module like that i'm gonna create a uh, here when you're using a react router you can use something called index route index route is the finally the the index when you use this route but uh, for now i'm gonna just show you this way so uh yes i'm gonna use index route sorry guys Live code component. Now it's the own view like that. Don't forget to end by index out. So now you look at this. Oh, nothing changed. What happened? I have nothing. Why? Because my router, I have my app like that. I have my nav bar, perfect, because it is inside the app, but the Route don't show nothing because in React everything inside a tag is a children. So this is the children of the app. So using that, you can I always destruct. So when I'm gonna show you this children is the same if you do this that props that children inside the, the component. But for me I always destruct. So now look at that here. I can pass my children like this. And now look at this. And the home view is right here. If you look again inside your React Dev Tool, you open, you have your app, and look, I have home view. Because now is the children of my uh, app file. 
So that's why your app file can become your layout. Because now, if I remove this, and I remove my hello, I can remove now everything here, like that. I can remove my style right here. Now look at that, that can be your layout, because now I have my nav bar, who is always there, and now I have my own view. So I think for tonight that's gonna be good. I know I, I was still looking uh, before was implement Cinematic UI, but like I said earlier, I tried this video uh, first time with Material UI and everything was broken. Material UI have, have something happened today, I don't know why. So I'm gonna just teach myself a bit about Cinematic UI. I've used the, the real version, but now they have a component. So uh, please let me know in comment what you think about this video. If you like, just hit like and maybe subscribe if you like this. So tomorrow we're gonna start to add some CSS and after that, the funny part gonna start with Redux and React. So take care guys.